So, welcome back everybody. Um, this, sorry, I don't know, I hope you guys can hear me. Um, this is a video that a lot of people have been wanting. Um, yes, recently on Sunday, December 8th, I got a puppy. And some of you guys have seen him, some of you guys have not. But <laughs> I'm trying to keep him on the down low because I want to do a huge review. He's looking at me right now. Hi, hey, buddy. Um... So I know you're like, when are you gonna get to it? When? Are you, where is he? I'm like, he's right here. Trust me. You, I will get to it. So without further ado, I am happy to introduce um, Milo. Um, come here, Milo. Everyone wants to see you. Come here. Oh, he's so tiny. Um, little Milo is two months old. Um, he, I got him from the LaBelle Foundation. Now, the LaBelle Foundation, what they do is that they rescue all types of dogs, but mainly puppies, um, puppies who are stray, abandoned, or um, with disabilities. So, I don't know um, Milo's backstory. Uh, so, I lost words because I keep looking at him in the frame and I'm like, he's just so cute. Um, he is a teacup chihuahua. From what we're told, I think he has something else in him because his ears kind of flop down. Chihuahuas have like the pointy ears. Um, maybe his ears are just too big. I don't know. But he is always oh, cold. <laughs> but you're always cold. Um, he is so freaking cute. So I have a lot of things for him. And we went to Petco right after and I got him from the Well Foundation. The Well Foundation is based in LA. Um, so we went to Petco up in LA. But he's like a fleece navy dog thing. He loves. He loves squeaky toys, but his favorite, his favorite is this ball. Like he legit like loves this ball. See, he like loves it. Um, so that being said, he is a puppy. So he does teeth. He does, um, sorry, I'm so distracted. I'm thinking he's going to whine. He actually doesn't whine at all. He, um, he sleeps through the night completely. His first night which was Sunday night, slept through the entire night. I slept with him on the floor because I was like, I don't want him to think that like he's alone in the room and I don't want him to get, I don't want, I don't want him to get anxiety, but um, he, he is fantastic. Last night he slept through the entire night. I got too much sleep. <laughs> I got like nine hours of sleep. Um, I leave my door cracked open. He goes potty. He's been going poop and pee on his mats, which is one in here and there's one in my bathroom. He, when we take him outside in the front yard, he goes poop and pee. He is, he's had a few accidents, but not enough to where like, it's all the time. He is super good. He, he's been eating his food. He's on kibble. The LaBelle Foundation, their fosters um, are super great. He, they did it all. I didn't have to do anything. Um, I do have some things for him so you guys can see kind of how small he is. Um, here's his harness. This is an extra, extra small harness. He doesn't even fit in this. I know he's like excited. <laughs> he wants to chew on it, but um, I've actually already put this on him. I will not put this on him too frequently because I don't want him, because it's kind of too big and I don't want to like to drag. But <laughs> here's his harness. Like he literally drowns in it. Oh, I know, I know. But here's his harness. Um, I also have his, literally like his head is smaller than the smallest. Like this is literally the smallest. Like my hand doesn't even like, I have sausage fingers and my fingers don't even fit in this. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is Milo. Um, Milo is a new addition to our family. I'm so happy I got to get him. He, when we first walked into the Bell Foundation, cause they were hosting an event at this like hair salon. Um, granted it took like two hours and 15 minutes to get there. Um, when we got there, my mom and I, my mom came with me. Um, I will be posting a photo along with this video um, of Milo and I when I first got him. We walk in and there's a bunch of puppies everywhere and he is, I don't see him. And I'm like, okay, well, did they bring him? Like, where is he? Like, I want him like now. Like I walk into the other side because there's like two kind of like rooms that they're in, like their puppies are in their playpens. And the minute I walk in, I look through like the little window because there's like, it's like a wall and then a window. I don't, can't explain it to you guys unless you guys see it. Uh, I didn't film the process of me getting him and the whole thing because it was just like, it's long and it's a waiting process. Um, depends how the waiting process is. Like, the Bell Foundation is super good about getting back to you. That being said though, like your pu the puppy has to be available because they do get a lot of applications. So fortunately enough, I was, <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to people. 
<laughs> uh, fortunately enough, I was able to get him. Um, anyway, so I walk in and he is, no joke, out of all the puppies that are playing, out of all his siblings, he is the only one who is staring at me. Like, literally locked on eyes with me. And my mom walks in behind me and she's like, is that him? And I'm like, I think so. Granted, his name before I changed his name was Tex, T-E-X. I changed his name to Milo. I think it literally suits him so much. But, um, yeah, so I walk in and I, did, like, when I literally locked eyes with this dog, I was like, this, you know, I think this is Tex, I think this is Tex, like, or this is Milo. And so I walk around the corner and I look and I, like, I, like, stare at him and I'm like, oh, hi. She, I'm like, I'm here for Tex. Because, like, he was referred to as Tex by then. Um, she goes, oh, are you Nick? And I was like, yes, I'm Nick. And she goes, oh, my gosh. And she goes, you're here for Tex. Oh, my gosh. And she grabs Tex and she gets him. And it was the dog that I was staring at, the one that was staring at me. And... Um, here he is. I have a picture of me holding him. He is just so cute. He's so soft. Look at his little ears. Can you say hi to everybody? Since you're now awake, since you sleep literally like 90% of the day, eat, sleep, and then poop and pee. Oh, stop. You're okay. Um, he doesn't like his stomach being pushed on too much because like he is tiny. Like he literally is tiny. Stay here for the video. Stay here. Please. Please. You can process the bell foundation. All you do is um, through text messages, you send Phil, you send in what dog you want. They give you an application. You, you send the application in, and then if you get approved, they want a full video of your house um, and blah, blah blah, like a full detail. And then I did that, and um, what's it called? And then you send it in, and then they approve it, and then you will pick him up through whatever process it is. Fortunately enough, mine was at a puppy event. It could be through the LaBelle Foundation themselves. They're super professional about everything. I actually was following them before um, David Dolbrick and the, his squad found it, found their puppies or did their whole video or whatnot. Um, I actually, the first, um, Madeleine Pelch, Pesh, I forgot her name. Um, Cheryl Blossom from Riverdale actually posted a photo of her doggy and it was LaBelle Foundation and I just died. I, I followed them immediately and every puppy they have seen is cute, but he was just, so I know you probably just want to go to sleep. Are you hungry? You're oh. Okay. Um, I'm going to put him down real quick because he probably wants to go eat. He probably just wants to his body. No, he's hungry. He's eating. Well, Dash Foundation, on Venmo, I don't know. And send them donations. They love donations. They do an amazing job. Their fosters were amazing. Um, and I'm just so blessed to have him and I just am so happy. So I'm excited for this journey and for 2020 to be with him and for him to be here during the holidays. He is a blessing. Everybody in the family loves him. Everybody's excited to see him. Um, if you're my if you're a friend of mine, um, text me. You can come over and come see him. I don't care. He is something that I take care of. So I wanted to be a reveal. I want to do it formally. I want everybody to see it. So yeah, I know I'm rambling. I know I'm talking a lot and the dog's longer here. So no one's watching anymore. But yeah, so that's that. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the reveal. Um, I don't know where he is. Milo. Oh, he's. So another thing. <laughs> I know I was just doing an outro. Another thing is that he likes blankets that smell like me. Like he literally is like obsessed with me. Which granted, I don't care. Oh, this is his bed. Literally, I like not even kidding. It's like so comfortable. Um, he sleeps in it all the time. Um, he likes blankets that smell like me. Um, or he likes being with me. So I have a blanket that I always use in my bed and then I literally was like walking around. It was, it was hanging off my bed last night and it was kind of like this, like hanging off. And like, he literally like said this and say this is not, <laughs> it comes up and like lays on the side of my bed. And so like, I was like, okay, screw it. He's gonna want this blanket because it smells like me. This one doesn't smell like me anymore because he's been using it. So I'm like, okay, shoot. I literally give him my blanket and he's literally on it right now. So thank you guys so much for watching again. Sorry, I know I, probably was out throwing and I didn't get to it. Um, but I hope you guys are here for the journey of Milo and I. We are just so blessed. We are so happy. I'm so happy I could connect with him. I'm so happy I get to be with him. Um, yeah, and so thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.